Okay, so I want to also show you how to mirror stuff over to the other side. Let's say projection master using double sided isn't such a good idea all the time. Let's say I have a scenario where this is in, where this is this pattern is at a perfect angle where if you went to use double sided and make it, it wouldn't have turned out. So here's a little tip. Let's zoom in here. What you could do is go down to its lowest level of geometry and first go over into poly groups and group visible. Then turn on frame. Control and shift. Highlight the one side and group that visible. And then control and shift clicking on that same group will show the other group and you can group it visible. Now you can choose whatever color by just basically toggling through this a few times. You get two contrasty colors going. So now I have that change. Problem is, I don't know what in Sam Hill that um, actual direction is. So what I can do is X, try that out. Okay, Y. What I'm looking for, it's mirrored value and it's actually mirrored in Z value because I can see a dot on both sides here so what that means is I could take it and up it all the way up and hide the value that's good already or keep this value, sorry, the one that has all the good values on it, that's the one you want to keep. Hold control and click anywhere to mask that off. Control and shift anywhere to show the rest of the region. Now here's what you have to look for, over for. Does it affect the prime meridian? See right here, this meridian line that goes all the way down the character? This one kind of goes in this area. This is bad. This I have to hold control and click and drag out to mask off that area so nothing bad happens to that. Okay, good. So I have changes on this side. I want to mirror onto the other side. Well, that's easy. Now I can go into the deformation palette and choose Smart Resim Z. And you might not want to do this with the mouse. That way you can actually toggle the Z. There we go. And I could toggle that on. Smart Resim. And this could take a little bit of time, so I'm going to stop the video and let this cook and then be back in a second. Alright, so here's the result of it being mirrored over. So I got this side and this side. And that's just another uh, one of those examples of why a uniformed cylinder is really cool to sculpt on because you can get the mirror changes. Now be careful though on pattern areas uh, you could potentially have this going on for you and that's bad. So again I should have maybe probably went like that and mirrored off everything except for the area I was changing. Um, other things though you know sometimes you get some happy accidents because you know this right here is kinda cool where it scrolls over and then back in uh, but this is not so cool where it kind of has two little dots and then spirals out. So happy results, unhappy results, but in all in all, um, I'm pretty good with it. If I wanted to undo that, I could undo it pretty easy because it's on one of those levels. just like that. So in this case, you know, rather than mirror over the entire thing, I probably should have went like this. Control and shift. Me hold control, masking off that, and then mask off all the patterned area also so it doesn't get any screwy results. And then just mirror that tiny little section over uh, using the deformation palette and Smart Resim Z. So that's going to take a couple seconds. 
Other than that, that's it for the tutorial. Just know that you can s take this and do a lot of little things with it because it's all uniformed and you can mirror it pretty easy.